So today I'm gonna to show you two different ways to make hummus. Not only that, I'm gonna give you five other garnishes to turn them into meals. The first one, the classic, with just some chickpeas, some olive oil, some smoked paprika, a jammy egg with pickled shallots and a parsley salad. My absolute favorite are spiced lamb mince with mint and pomegranate, a grilled eggplant with pine nuts and lemon, and finally, a super delicious dish of roast cauliflower, confit garlic, and sumac. Let's get stuck in. So, this style of hummus, the recipe actually started yesterday where I took the dried chickpeas and I soaked them in lots of water overnight. And then this morning, I drained them and rinsed them well. And now I'm simply gonna pour them into a pot. I'm gonna turn the heat on. And to that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of bicarb soda. So all we're gonna do is mix that bicarb soda through. What this does is kind of rough up the skins and makes the, the skins easier to break down when we're blending. I'm pretty sure most Middle Eastern grandmothers would actually peel each one of these, but I think if you tell most home cooks to peel all their chickpeas, they're gonna not do it. So a couple of minutes later and the, uh, the skins are starting to come off. We're just gonna cover those in water, season them with some salt, Make sure that salt is well incorporated. And we're gonna simmer these really low for about 45 minutes to an hour until they're so soft you can squish them between your fingers. So these have been cooking for just under an hour now and they're nice and super tender. If you're gonna run with the first garnish, remove some of the cooked chickpeas now. If not, let's get these drained, rinse them off and get the skins off them. So we're just gonna give it a quick rinse and then get them back in the pot with some fresh water. So these are gonna go back in the pot with some fresh cold water. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna agitate them slightly, push all the skins that are left to the top, and we're gonna skim all those off. Now, you don't need to do this step, but I think it really helps with the silkiness and the smoothness of your hummus. So I encourage you just to spend five minutes here, skim off the skins, and then we'll drain them again and get them in the food processor. Now these are drained off, they're gonna go into a food processor. To that, we're gonna add three cloves of garlic and the juice of a lemon. Just a little pinch of salt, because we'll check for seasoning at the end as well. Get that running. And just making sure intermittently, we're just running those maurice or a rubber spoon down those sides to make sure we get every little piece of it. All right, that's been running for a couple of minutes now. It's time to introduce the tahini. And we'll let that run again for three more minutes. At this point, we're also gonna start tasting it. Tastes good, but it does need more lemon juice. Just a touch more salt. Now I did a video on hummus uh, a few weeks ago and a lot of people suggested instead of using iced water to use ice. And it makes sense to me because it helps to grind down those chickpeas even more. So I'm gonna start with four ice cubes. We'll get that working again. See how we're going. Not quite smooth enough, but it is bang on as far as seasoning. I'm gonna let this run for another five minutes at least. But honestly, you can let this run as long as you want. The longer you leave it, the smoother it's gonna get. And there we have it, super silky smooth hummus. The second option, which is a great option if you don't have the time or the foresight to soak your chickpeas overnight. So we're gonna take canned chickpeas. These are just chickpeas, salt and water, and they're cooked through. But we need to do a couple of steps to make sure we get silky smooth hummus. So we're gonna start by opening these cans of chickpeas, draining them and rinsing them really well. Now you can keep the aquafaba, but unless you have a use for it, I wouldn't bother. And then same as the first one, into a pot, water, two teaspoons of bicarb, heat on, and you probably won't need to add salt to this because they should have already been cooked in salt. Give it a little stir so that that bicarb soda dissolves, and then we can rinse them again and try and skim as many of those skins off. All right, these have been cooking for about 15 minutes now, and you can see that the color of the water has changed and gone all hazy. If you just push one carefully, it should just mush completely under a little bit of pressure from your, from your finger. So now we're gonna get these drained, and we're gonna rinse them, and we're gonna scoop as much of those skins off as we can. Now drain once again into a food processor. Oh, making a mess. To that, three cloves of garlic, the juice of a lemon, and a pinch of salt. But just go easy on the salt at this point because at the end we'll check for seasoning. Now we're gonna run the machine. Now same as before, once your tahini's in, we're gonna run the machine for about four or five minutes before we start adding ice. All right. Whew. So we're just gonna scrape the edges down Get those ice cubes in and we'll run the machine again. And we'll check for seasoning one last time. Just needs a pinch of salt. Now we'll get that mixed in. Good to go. Super silky smooth hummus. Now we've got our base hummus. 
let's start getting into some of those garnishes. And if you've been living under a rock, I released a cookbook. This has got over 70 recipes, all with incredible photography and a whole section on tips and tricks for my over 20 years in professional kitchens. The link is in the bio, go get your copy now. I think you're gonna love it. The first one, and it's actually kind of more of a classic way of, uh, of serving it, but a very delicious way of serving it still. And then use your spoon just to spread it out around the edges. So you've got a nice well in the center. So first of all, some of those chickpeas that we saved from earlier. I think it adds a nice texture back to it. And then we're gonna garnish it with some paprika. You can just sprinkle it over the top if you're in a hurry, or if you've got mates around and you're trying to impress, get the back of a teaspoon, dip it in the water, and then dip it into the paprika, and then you can dot it down. And then the olive oil. Now the quality of the olive oil is super important here. And notice we didn't put any olive oil in the hummus itself. You do need to add olive oil always to hummus, but it's always on at the end. And there you go, first plate, ready to go. So for the jammy egg and pickled shallot garnish, we're gonna start by soft boiling some eggs for seven and a half minutes. While the eggs are cooking, you're gonna slice your shallots nice and thin on a mandolin. Then in a small saucepan, you're gonna add apple cider vinegar, water, sugar, and salt. Once that comes to a boil, you're gonna add your sliced shallots to that mixture, and then you're gonna turn the heat off. These are effectively good to eat now. For the parsley salad, we're simply gonna pick the parsley and set it aside. After seven and a half minutes and the eggs are cooked, we're gonna run them under cold water for two minutes, and then we're gonna peel them, and they're good to go as well. So to plate the jammy egg with parsley salad, start with the hummus in the center. We'll move it around to the edge of the plate. Next, we'll get our egg in there, slice this in half. Make sure we season it. Then we're gonna make a little salad for some parsley. Lots of the shallots, the shallots are nice, they cut through all the eggy richness. And drizzle that with olive oil. Another pinch of salt. On she goes. A Couple of extra little shallots there for garnish. And then olive oil. Jammy egg, done. For my favorite, the spiced lamb mints, pomegranate and mint, we're gonna start by seasoning this lamb. So to the lamb mints in the bowl, we're gonna add oregano, ground coriander, ground cumin, smoked paprika, salt and pepper. And we're gonna mix that through really well. Then in a heavy base pot or a cast iron pan over a high heat, we're gonna add a drizzle of olive oil followed by our lamb mints and small portions. Now we don't wanna move this around too much at the start because we wanna start building some really nice crispy edges. Once you've got good caramelization on one side of the lamb mints, you can start moving it around at that point and breaking it up a little bit more. Once that's cooked, you're gonna remove it from the pan and set aside. Then we're gonna cut the pomegranate open and we're gonna push out all the seeds. If we smash them with a spoon, it's gonna break the seeds and you're gonna lose all that lovely juice. Just like before, hummus in the center of the plate. Nice well in the center. Now load it up with that delicious lamb mince. We're just gonna tear some mint leaves in there. Pomegranate and of course, olive oil. Yum. For the eggplants with pine nut and lemon, we're gonna start by dicing this eggplant. Now that the eggplant's sliced, we're gonna place it into a bowl and sprinkle it with salt. Then we're gonna drizzle it well with olive oil and onto a lime tray and into an oven set to grill at 210 degrees. It's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to get good color and it's cooked through. For the pine nuts, simply place them into a small fry pan and toast them over a medium to medium low heat until you've got great color all over the outside. Once the pine nuts are nice and toasted, into a little bowl and set aside until we're ready to plate. To assemble the eggplants, pine nuts and lemon, hummus in the center of the plate, get a nice and grilled eggplant in there, generous amount of pine nuts, and lots of lemon zest. And of course, olive oil. Delicious. For the cauliflower, First up, let's get the florets off this head of cauliflower. Once you've got the florets off the cauliflower, place them into a bowl, you're gonna know, drizzle them with olive oil and season them with sumac and salt. Place them onto a line oven tray and then into a 200 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until they have good color and are cooked through. For the comfy garlic, simply place your peeled garlic cloves into a small oven proof dish you have the lid for. Cover them with olive oil and then sprinkle them with salt. Place this into a 150 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until they're cooked through and a little bit golden on the outside. And for those of you who are still watching, the roast cauliflower. You should be a pro at this by now. Hummus down, make a well in the center. Roast cauliflower. Then we're gonna get lots of our comfy garlic cloves on here. I love this stuff. If anyone hasn't eaten comfy garlic before, it's not strong, so don't panic. Don't think you're gonna get nasty ass breath. Just a couple of leaves of parsley for chefiness, I guess. 
you know, eat with your eyes. Now, I hate that saying so much. Got an idea. Let's use a bit of this olive oil. Nice garlicky one. Finish with a little bit more sumac. Stunning. So there you go, five ways to turn hummus into a delicious meal. Let me know if you try one of these or all of them. And let's see what it tastes like. Mm. I absolutely love this lamb one. Don't forget the cookbook link is down below. Like this video if you're taking anything from it. Subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next week for another recipe. Peace.